In this video, we'll build a chat app using Nux.js and Pusher. Before we start building the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Nuxt with any of these backend frameworks, I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required, so you have to build first the backend before continuing this video. Now that you have built the backend, let's create the app. So let's create the Nuxt app. So right mpx create next app i'll call it next chat so we will have some options now let's wait till uh, they appear project name is correct javascript i'll pick npm here uh, I will use Bootstrap, but this is not the right version, so I'll pick none here. I'll select Axios. Uh, here I won't select anything. Uh, I won't select anything. Here doesn't matter. I will pick a single page up. I'll pick this one, this one, and uh, I will not select the version control. So that's it. Now let's wait till it's completed. So the files are created. I will open it with my IDE. I'm using a WebStorm here. And uh, first, let's run the project. So npm run dev. So it will run on port 3000. And uh, let's go to that port. And uh, this is our app. Now go to getbootstrap.com and uh, we want to change the template here. Click get started and uh, we want to add this uh, link to nuxconfig.js. So here I will paste it directly. So this is uh, the link that we want to add. This is a, a URL to bootstrap and uh, it will change a little bit our app, but uh, we need to make some other changes like removing uh, the styles in the layout. And uh, let's go to the pages, index.view, we need to remove also the styles here. And for the HTML here, I will change this HTML, go to getbootstrap.com, examples, sidebars here and I will use uh, this HTML. So inspect here and uh, I will copy all this HTML and I will paste it here. So we need the div class container. I will paste it inside. And uh, this anchor links, I will remove all of them except the first two ones. So I remove this and also I will remove uh, the first one. So we only need the second one. I will remove this uh, style with here on top and this SVG here. So now our app will look different. So maybe we need to refresh it. So let me run again this so this is how it looks like now let's uh, change this lead list group on top as a username uh, so first i will remove these anchor links and i'll change them to divs so i'll change this also to a div and uh, here I will add an input with the same class. So I'll copy this, I'll cut it actually, and I'll remove the span. And uh, here I'll create a variable. So I'll add data here, return. The variable will be username. And the default value will be username. So 
uh, I will add it here as a V model username. This will look like this. So we have a username here and we can change it. So now let's uh, change also these uh, values here. So we need another data, which is messages. And by default is an empty array. And uh, here we need to loop them. So I will loop them like this. V4 uh, message in messages. We need to add also the key. So I will add the key like this. So this will be the key will be directly the message. And uh, here I will remove the date. We don't need it. And this is message username. And this is here message dot message. So that's it. But for the moment, uh, we won't see anything. And uh, we need uh, a way to send those messages. So to send those messages, we need to add here a form with uh, an input. This input will have a class form control and the placeholder of write a message. So it will look like this. Let's add uh, some styles. So I'll copy this uh, scroll area here. I will add styles in the end. And uh, this uh, class scroll area will have a mean height of uh, 500 pixels. So it will look like this. Now we can write messages and they should be appearing here. But uh, they we need to send the request first. So first I will add here a message as an empty string and I will add it as a V model for this input. So V model message. And uh, this form needs to submit. So we need to add here methods and we need the submit function. So submit here. And when we submit, we'll call a submit function. Also, I will add here prevent. So we don't want to refresh the page once we submit. So everything is ready till now. Uh, the only thing that we need is uh, to add pushers. So before I sign in, make sure to have built the backend. If you haven't built the backend, you should do it because it is required. Now that you have built it, let's sign in. So create a channel in the sandbox plan. It is free and uh, let's go to the channel. Go to get started. And uh, this is the code that we need. So uh, I will copy this code. And uh, I'll add here mounted. And inside I'll paste uh, this code. Pusher is not recognized. We can use uh, this URL, but I prefer using npm. So npm install pusher JS. Now that is installed, let's import here pusher from pusher JS. And uh, let's change this to a constant and also this to a constant. And our channel is chat. And uh, our event is message. And uh, that's it. So uh, now we are binding to this uh, event. And once we get the event, we need to push it to our messages here. So what I will do is I will call this messages push the data that we got. And that's it for the mounted part. And uh, what is left now is to send the submit event. So I'll make this function asynchronous. And uh, 
here let's send the event to the backend so await this axios since uh, we installed axios uh, in the beginning post the endpoint is http localhost port 8000 slash api slash messages and uh, the data that we will send is a username which is this username and uh, the message which is this message and that's it now i will reset the message to an empty string after we finish this request also one uh, last uh, change which uh, we made a mistake we should uh, convert this to an arrow function because uh, these messages won't uh, get this variable here because uh, this will be inside this function so this should be an arrow function here and uh, that's it this is uh, our uh, next step and uh, now what is left is to test this on the browser so i opened the project with my two browsers this one is chrome and this one is safari and uh, here we can write messages so i will write this message and it's appearing in both sides so it's working fine here also we can write a message and it will appear here so this was our chat i hope you liked the video and if you did please also share and subscribe thank you